Scorpio, what's goody, y'all? What's going on? I'm Blue Phoenix. Thank you so much for visiting my channel today if you're new. And thank you so much for returning to all of my folks in the big energy family. So, y'all, let's do a uh, reading, all <laughs> right? Let's get into your reading, Scorpio. Um, I'm feeling like a lot of you guys might be walking into a time of completions, a time of ending cycles um and y'all are about to walk into some sort of abundance on pre-shuffle i rolled the dice and i got the number 10 all right in the tarot that is the wheel of fortune um and by the looks of the pre-shuffle from the rest of the cards you have abundance here oh my gosh underneath that you got manifestation no lie abundance of manifestations on the um, affirmators deck, okay? A water sign could be significant other than you, Scorpio. You got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, so let's look into what's coming towards you, energies you need to be aware of, um, and how you can prepare, okay? And possible outcome. We'll see what's going on, what spirit wants you guys to know, and yeah, any other messages, all right? So let's get on with Aquarius. Holy Spirit, thank you so much for this opportunity for me and scorpio to exchange some positive energies with one another i thank you to my ancestors orishas archangels and all divine beings of the highest widest light for the messages direction protection they provide me every day who help me see what i need to see and hear what i need to hear and get that info back to scorpio in a way where they can utilize it for the betterment of their lives my intentions are to bring them clarity and to help them in whichever way they need so that their next move is their best move, right? I'm open to receive messages from the universe. I say amen, so mode it be. All right, you got the fifth house, Leo energy on the bottom of the deck, okay? So Leo, fifth house energy. So it says it's governed by the sun. It is the house of pleasure, okay? <laughs> Oh my God, I'm getting excited for y'all. Oh. All right, I also wrote on here, first time parents, artistic talents, recreation, luck, entertainment, pleasure, romance, love, and theater, all right? Some of y'all might like the theater, like the finer arts, okay? I know it's not for everybody, and this is a uh, collective Scorpio reading, so please pick up what resonates and leave the rest. But the House of Leo, all right, fifth house, the number five could be significant. That speaks of change. There may have been a change with a Leo. All right, doesn't have to be though. All right, so let's see what spirit has to say for you guys. Y'all got emperor on the bottom of the deck, that emperor energy that's a leader, that is inspired action, that is power, okay? <laughs> so Holy Spirit, what energy is Scorpio in right now? What's going on with my Scorpio gang? Show me what's going on, Spirit. What's going on with my Scorpio gang? A Leo might really be significant here, or some of y'all might be worrying about a, a manifestation, okay? You're worried, okay, on the bottom of the deck over here, I got the doors. It says unlocked. So maybe some of y'all are trying to fight against an, a, a locked door, some form of stagnation or pause, possibly. Or maybe, look, death on the bottom of the uh, deck. That's y'all's energy, Scorpio, some form of transformation. All right, Spirit, what energy is Scorpio in right now, please? What is Scorpio's energy right now, Holy Spirit? Scorpio's energy, the world. I told y'all, y'all are finishing up cycles, completing cycles, things of that nature. The world also can speak of travel. It can also speak of the internet, okay? So you're in the world energy. Give me another card. Why is Scorpio in the world energy? What's going on? What cycles have been completed? What's up, spirit? What's up with this world energy? Why is Scorpio? I hope I didn't say Pisces. I don't know. I feel like I said Pisces. Or Pisces could be significant. All right. So you have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is an offer. That's also, it can also speak of planning, okay? Some of y'all might be planning a trip, 
or planning to travel soon or you will be traveling soon. All right. Some of you guys might have some conflict around you. That's the five of wands. It speaks of fights, competition, things of that nature. A Libra could be significant for some of you all. Why is Scorpio in this world's energy? Heartbreak. You may have completed a cycle with someone that caused you pain, that caused you heartbreak, okay? Mm. Nine of Swords, again, anxiety, worry, stress, fighting, things of that nature. Y'all have brought a close to this or are attempting to bring a close to, okay, I'm hearing confusion, to the confusion in your life, maybe some confusion happening at work, Something causing someone to have to juggle, okay? Uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, child could be significant. Then you got the ma uh, magician with manifestations on the bottom of the deck. All right? Yeah, for some of y'all, this heartbreak could have been from a connection, okay? This also could be something about travel plans being canceled. Um, but for the majority of y'all, I feel as though with this seven of wands here, standing your ground, all right, and this can, and, you know, for some readers, can represent a twin flame or um, connection, right? The uh, number two speaks of, I heard, dual ship. So some of y'all might be traveling, across, okay, something about travel, traveling across seas, okay? Um, yeah. And... Two of Wands, too. A, a lot of travelers. Some about movement or, or changing scenery or something. All right. Let's see, Scorpio. What is this heartbreak about here? What is the Three of Swords going on with Scorpio, please? What is this Three of Swords spirit? I hope everybody is doing all right out there today doing good i hope you all are blessed abundantly okay and every desire that you have everything you need i pray that all your needs wants and desires are met okay all right yeah the eight of pentacles regarding this heartbreak for some of y'all it could be something online all right y'all might work online or work yeah do some kind of work online something may not have come out ex as expected you may have wanted something to move faster, but it's moving at a slow pace or something like that for some of y'all. For others of y'all, I feel as though this might be a work situation for some of y'all. What is this three of swords with the eight of pentacles spirit, please? What is the eight of pentacles on the three of swords spirit? What is this? Three of swords on the eight of pentacles for Scorpio, please. Look at this shit, bruh. Bruh, you got the nine of swords, the seven of cups, and the justice for the three of swords here. For this heartbreak. For this, okay, I heard betrayal. The nine of swords, like I said, it speaks of anxiety. It speaks of not being able to sleep. It speaks of insom insomnia. All right. I'm hearing something about somebody's mental, all right? Somebody's mental may have been clouded or ju uh, judged. That's not what I meant to say, but okay. Somebody's judgment. Okay, thank you, Spirit. I'm like, what? Somebody's judgment was cloudy. So, and then the, the uh, justice card speaks of balance, right? It speaks of balance and equality and things being fair, Something here was covered up and it was, it, I feel as though it's, it wasn't fair or something like that, right? Let's see. Let's dig a little deeper and see what's going on here. What's this fairness about? What is this fairness about? Some of y'all could, yeah. Oh, shit. Somebody could have had a third party. All right. A King of Swords, Capricorn. A King of Swords is Air. Oh, might be Aries, but Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, right? I heard vindication. Someone's about to be vindicated. All right, yeah, they bringing me to the abundance card. Something's about your. Something's about to be vindicated. All right, 
Um, mm. So I feel as though some form of balance is being brought about or, or like I said, vindication um, regarding a possible toxic connection. All right. Somebody may have had a third party here. All right. Well, what energies are coming towards a new beginning? I'm telling y'all, y'all done closed out of cycle and y'all are about to walk into your abundance. The Six of Cups is on the cut as well, which speaks of past or memories or childhood, right? Spirit, what's going on with my Scorpio? What energies do they need to be aware of that's coming towards them? Three of Cups, I'm telling y'all, oh, look at this. This is literally celebration. This is fun times. This is, okay, I'm hearing again, travel. Some of y'all might be going on a girl's trip or a boy's trip, guy's trip, whatever. Um, but feeling good, looking good, feeling good, feeling fine is what I heard. <laughs> okay. What else? What energy is coming towards? Oh my gosh. The truth about some sort of ending. Something ending and being over. Like I said, a cycle. This cycle is complete. The will of fortune is turning in your favor. Period. And believe that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the most powerful tools you have to magic and to manifest things for manifestation. Is your mind. Even against magic. Black magic or spell work or whatever. Right? The Empress just flipped over Libra energy again. Wow. Let's see. What energies are coming towards Scorpio that they need to be aware of? Spirit. What's this three of? Oh, shit. Y'all, shut up. I'm telling you, breath. I'm telling you, abundance is yours. Do you understand me, Scorpio? What is the three? What are you celebrating? A brand new beginning. Brand new. That's a big ass pinnacle coming up out the sky, bro. That's God handing you something. A new gift. A new gift. For walking away. I was just going to fucking say that, I swear. For walking the fuck away. It may have caused you some pain. It may be sad. Or you may be sad. You may not have wanted to end a connection or a, um, something here. Right? You've been patient. I just saw the Seven of Pentacles. That speaks of patience. Speaks of planting your seed. And all right, some of y'all might be researching um, here in the near future how to invest this money. Okay, King of Cups on the. Um, I mean, King of Cups flipped over in the chariot. Let's see. All right, for some of y'all, y'all somebody's about to get a, a good amount of money, right? And it's something here about for those of y'all that have come uh, inheritance or because I saw the Ten of Pentacles too, some sort of inheritance or her contract, something here that's going to provide you a new financial windfall. All right, I'm hearing to research investments, right, and not get caught up in your feelings about something. What's the King of Cups, please? Uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. What's the King of Cups? All right, somebody's looking up something here. Magician, how to manifest something. Might be, okay. Oh my gosh, some of y'all... Mm, the sword of truth on the bottom of the deck some of y'all may have been playing in magic that's okay spirit might have put that on my mind for a reason some of y'all might have been and I, manifestation to me is magical all right you might not be the crazy magic all these other folks talking about and shit like that but um it's definitely in my opinion a form of magic some of y'all might be doing this especially with manifestation right up here under abundance some of y'all may be manifest may have manifested this and y'all about to be surprised as the fuck all right, look, you got manifestations and the magician here. You had the ten of uh, the number ten on the pre-shuffle, bruh. That's the will of freaking fortune. What? Anything else? Uh, Scorpio needs to know about energies that are coming towards them. Page of Cups from who? What's this about for the Page of Cups? 
So some of y'all might be manifesting a love, a love offer. Something that you've been wishing for. Bruh, y'all about to manifest something here. Whatever you've been working on, Scorpio. If For those of y'all that this resonates with, okay? Because this ain't for everybody. Because I'm sure everybody ain't out there just manifesting shit like this. This looks as though... Some of y'all might receive a... I heard a DM. Y'all might receive a message from Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. All right, a love message. This might be something y'all been hoping for for a minute, okay? Um, and it don't have to be that sign. It could be any sign. What's the Ace of Pentacles spirit? I knew it. Ten of fucking um, swords. This comes from some sort of ending that, that occurred, okay? Some sort of ending or some sort of... It's, it's, it's over with. It's a wrap. I'm telling you, look, an ending and a new beginning. All right? Um, I think I already said those signs. Yeah. All right, Spirit. How can they prepare for this energy coming in towards them? All right, you got the Knight of Cups. Okay, I heard be open to an... Uh, maybe this is a celebration they're talking about. Mm-mm. Hold on, y'all. Let me move on. I got to reset. Way too many cards on the table. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe, share, all that good stuff, right? All right. So how can you prepare? You got the Knight of Cups. All right. The Knight of Cups speaks of a love offer. It speaks of an offer, right? Of a giving. Okay. All right. Some of y'all might be uh, doing off. Uh, what? Altar. Altar? Offer. What are you saying? Altar work. Altar work? All right. Something about an offering, okay? How can they prepare? Stop focusing on the past. Maybe a fight that occurred in the past. How can they prepare, spirit? All right. Somebody might come back from your past, all right, Scorpio, um, and try to give you another love offer, but you might not want this offer, all right? For some of y'all, y'all don't want this shit. You're like, hell no, I'm telling you, love. I'm telling you, some all these cups. Moving fast. And ten of wands, something that was a heavy burden. You know, how can they prepare spirit? I heard, look at what's right in front of you. Look, oh my gosh, seven of swords, that's sneaky energy. Look at what's right in front of you, all right? Stay in touch with your intuition, all right? Follow your intuition, Scorpio. That's Pisces energy. A Pisces could be significant, a Sagittarius could be as well. Then you have the nine of pentacles here. The nine of pentacles speaks about self-love, self-care, self-made, millionaire, okay? Some of y'all might be about to be this because I don't know why the hell I would say that. <laughs> okay, all right, so self-made millionaire. Okay, I heard that hot shit. Some of y'all about to travel. I said if the Six of Swords comes out, somebody right here, somebody here is about to emigrate. Y'all about to go cross waters, right? But this can also speak of calmer waters, moving to calmer waters. You see how choppy it is right there? Look how calm it is back there. You see what I'm saying? You got the Knight of Wands over here too. Let's see. Mm. Some sneaky ass energy trying to creep up and jump in the this part of the no, this ain't even your part. You had your little sneaky part earlier in the beginning, sir or ma'am. Okay, what the fuck? All right, spirit. What's the possible outcome if Pisces, not Pisces, is Scorpio? <laughs> what's the possible outcome for Scorpio here, spirit? What's going on? What's the possible outcome for Scorpio, please? Rest. Oh my God. Rest. Yes. Wow. A new offer of love. A new beginning in love. A new beginning. I heard encapsulated in love. I actually heard wrapped like a, a sausage. What? Bacon. What? Uh, wrapped in. I don't know. What the fuck? <laughs> Look. Ten of, ten of cups on the cut. 
Wow, what is the outcome? What's the possible outcome for Scorpio, please? If y'all are interested in doing a personal reading with me, all my information is listed below. You can get three questions for three. <laughs> what? <laughs> Three questions for $33. Uh, look down in the description box for details or email me. All right. All the info is listed below. Thank you all for your likes and comments, shares, subscribes, donations, personal readings, um, personal calls, all that good stuff. Okay. Possible outcome. Forward movement. And this shit ain't moving slow. Okay. This ain't no pinnacle. This is a sword. All right. So just is like be ready. Right. And the Ace of Pentacles again, y'all. What's the possible outcome, Spirit? Y'all, it's something about y'all investing your money, all right? So if you, for those of y'all that resonate and know you're about to get a large amount of money or you feel as though you're about to get, oh, you have it already, whatever. It's something about you investing your money properly, okay? Wow, new possibilities, new prospects. Possible travel for some of y'all. Hold on just a minute, uh, Scorpio. Sword of Truth on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Look at that shit. I cannot with that. Oh my gosh. Y'all might be walking into a new relationship. Or a new connection. Let me say that. Spirit, anything else for possible outcomes for Pisces? Why is Pisces all in y'all reading? Who is this Pisces? Uh, okay, who is this? Did y'all go get a tarot reading or something? Or are you tarot reading or something like that? All right. Possible outcome, balance, angelic guidance. Yep. Archangels surrounding you, protecting you, keeping you, fortifying you. Wow. Okay. Some about a dog here. Some about a dog, a puppy, a white. Uh, what? What is you saying, Spirit? Okay, I'm gonna take that. Okay, somebody with a white dog. Some about a white dog. Possible outcome for a Scorpio, please. Oh, excuse me, y'all. I'm so sorry. Oh, that was rude. I'm so sorry. Look at that shit. Possible outcome. I'm going to leave it at that. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. I will see y'all next time.